welcome to the soya says podcast this is episode number 18 and today let's talk about dressing up uh, before we go there let me ask you a couple of questions do you think it is shallow to dress up do you think uh, more importance should be given to what's inside and not how someone's dressed actually those were trick questions <laughs> because whether you like it or not uh, whether you yourself do it or not whether you think it's wrong or right the fact is people look at others and they make snap judgments just like that they make snap judgments and like i said you might not yourself do it you might think it is wrong which it probably is but you cannot help the fact that this is something that vast majority of people out there do and let me give you an example you are on your first date you are shabbily dressed because you know what matters is what's inside and not the clothes so how long do you think the person that you are dating will think and take to know what's inside you how pure of a heart and how golden of a person you are is one date enough for this person to realize all of this about you two dates three what makes you think the person you are dating will be willing to give you two or three chances and invest so much time into you just to find out what's inside what exactly makes you think that actually let me up the ante some more uh, scrap this first date example uh, because it might not sound too serious assume and let me give you an example which will sound serious assume you are appearing for a job interview assume you are meeting your next investors in your business will you dress up or would you want the interviewer or these investors to figure out the real you and how skillful you are or how good of a business venture you have how much time once again the question is how much time do you think you have in this situation for these people your interviewers or your investors to find out Uh, what's inside and not make a snap judgment about how you are dressed or how you look i assume you will cut the bs and you will actually dress up in situations like these that is because you want to make an impression you want to make a first impression and you want that impression to be good you see someone who is generally dressed well is considered as someone who has his act together is perhaps well organized in life and pays attention to detail you can communicate all that by simply dressing up i hope you realize the power dressing up has so what i want to propose today as part of this podcast episode is for you to give a damn about dressing up it matters there is loads of research and quotes and social experiments and other inspirational stuff available out there that talks about dressing sharp but we are not going to go into all that we are just talking about the 100 reasons why you sir need to dress up 100 reasons you heard that right now this is not in any particular order and with due respect to the modestman.com because that's where we are taking these 100 points from so here we go number 1 women check you out number 2 men check you out number 3 cars stop to let you cross the street you smile more that's number 4 5 strangers ask you for directions number 6 friends start asking you for style advice number 7 random people also start asking you for style advice Number 8 your boss lets you slide on that deadline now this may not be uh, practical in certain situations but it is number 8 nonetheless number 9 you get the job even though it wasn't your best interview and this is something that we talked about this uh, basically is related to what we talked about number 10 people bring you into their inner circle they want to collaborate with you and be around you because they like the way you make them feel you project confidence and goodwill so powerful number 11 people inherently trust you just because you are dressed well people inherently trust you how powerful that point is number 12 some people dislike you number 13 people laugh at your jokes even when they are not very funny 
नंबर फोर्टीन योर फ्रेंड्स मेक फन ऑफ यू फॉर बींग मेट्रो और दे माइट से योर गे नाउ नो डिसरेस्पेक्ट टू दी एल जी बी टी क्यू कम्युनिटी देर बट या दैट्स वॉट इट इज नंबर फिफ्टीन योर फ्रेंड्स स्टार्ट कॉपिंग योर स्टाइल नंबर सिक्सटीन यू समाइम्स फील सिली वेन एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग विद न्यू लुक्स नंबर सेवनटीन यू नोटिस स्टाइल मिस्टेक्स एवरीवेयर नंबर एटीन एट होटल्स यू समाइम्स गेट अपग्रेडेड टू अ स्वीट नंबर नाइनटीन यू ट्राई हार्ड नॉट टू जज पीपल फॉर मेकिंग दोज मिस्टेक्स नंबर ट्वेंटी यू गिव एंड रिसीव दैट स्मॉल नोट ऑफ अप्रूवल टू अदर वेल ड्रेस्ड मैन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन पीपल स्माइल एट यू मोर ट्वेंटी टू यू डिटेस्ट क्लोथ्स दैट डोंट फिट एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑल ऑफ एज एंड हाफ ऑफ योर वर्ल्ड रोब डजेंट एक्चुअली फिट ट्वेंटी फोर यू क्रेंज वेन यू सी ओल्ड पिक्चर्स ऑफ योर सेल्फ बिकॉज यू वेर एंड दैट वेल ड्रेस्ड बैक दैन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव यू आर नॉट एज इम्प्रेस्ड विद अदर वेल ड्रेस्ड पीपल नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स यू सी कॉलर गैप ऑल द टाइम एवरीवेयर स्पेशली ऑन सेलिब्रिटीज नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन यू हैव मॉर्निंग्स वेर यू एफर्टलेसली जस्ट नेल योर आउटफिट दैट इज वेरी वेरी रिलैक्सिंग दैट यू डोंट हैव टू मेक एन एफर्ट टू nail your outfit number 28 there are days when you are late to work because you can't figure out what you want to wear so just an exact opposite of number 27 29 people compliment you regularly number 30 you resist the urge to tell random strangers to get their pants hemmed 31 you expect more of yourself other people expect more of you just by dressing up 32 you start to expect the occasional compliment 33 women who never noticed you before now start noticing you 34 you feel the urge to get or stay fit 35 suits become comfortable that is a powerful sentence right there suits become comfortable 36 you acquire accessories sunglasses watches belts Number thirty-seven. You acquire more accessories, bags, ties, pocket squares. Number thirty-eight. Your apparel budget triples. Thirty-nine. Women mind less when they catch you checking them out. Number forty. You notice the style details, whether it is you know whether they are good or bad. In everyone you see, you become an expert people watcher. Forty-one. Men become jealous of you. 42 people expect you to act like you dress 43 people expect you to be well spoken 44 everyone says hi to you 45 you ask random men for advice on style forums i have been guilty of it 46 you critique outfits for random men on style forums 47 acronyms like mfa ocbd db they mean something to you 48 people assume you're the boss or work at high end establishments they assume you have money that you own the lexus or mercedes parked out front yeah that could be a bit too much but yeah anyways 49 older people assume the best about you 50 superiors at work take you more seriously 51 cabs always pick you up although now that we have apps to do that Uh, you don't necessarily need to dress well uh, in order to have cabs pick you 52 you realize that going sockless can be delightful going sockless i'll add a video about going sockless in the description below 53 you get comfortable with people looking at you 54 you give half your clothes away 55 baristas and servers remember your name 56 you start hating business casual you would much prefer just casual or dressy 57 bartenders serve you first 58 you stop wearing sneakers 59 every time you wear loafers your friends say oh you're dressing up now i have to change number 60 your girlfriend becomes proud of you in a new way 61 you begin to understand the power of appearances 62 shopping becomes sport 62 shopping becomes sport 63 you constantly and number 62 i actually repeated it on purpose 
63, you constantly receive packages in the mail. 64, you always have something that needs to be returned. 65, you consider moving just to get more closet space. 66, your dry cleaning bill quadruples. 67, it all starts to make sense. You can make smart, confident decisions about what goes with what. You start treating yourself when something doesn't look right and you know why. 68, you hate being underdressed. 69, you overdress sometimes, but it's better than being underdressed, of course. Number 70, you know your measurements. Number 71, you understand why women love walk-in closets. 72, in meetings, people let you speak. 73, the top drawer of your dresser fills up with buttons, collar stays, pins, sieving kits, and cufflinks. Some of this actually applies to me, uh, especially the collar stays and cufflinks. 74, you start following style blogs. Lots of style blogs or YouTube channels in my case. 75, Sunday becomes wardrobe maintenance day. Laundry, shoe shining, ironing, I agree. 76, if you are a young guy, people assume you are older. If you are an older guy, people assume you are younger. 76, I would like to repeat that. If you are a young guy, people assume you are older. If you are an older guy, people assume you are younger. 77, grooming becomes much more important. 78, you experiment with different hairstyles. 79, women value your opinion about their style. 80, you look forward to cold weather because layers, right? 81, packing becomes more difficult. Oh, that's like the most difficult thing to do when it comes to going on a vacation. 82, you always want to dress appropriately for the occasion. 83, you get your shoes shined. 84, you inspire change in those around you. Your friends and colleagues see how confident and put together you look. And it gives them a positive kick in the pants to up their game too. 85, you get to know a cobbler. 86, and watch a repairman as well. 87, outfits and hairdos that you assumed you couldn't pull off become viable options. 88, you learn how to iron. 89, you ditch your college jeans. 90, you realize just how versatile a good pair of chinos really are. 91, your wardrobe expands significantly. 92, you long for a lean, versatile wardrobe. 93, your posture starts to change. 94, people assume you're wealthy. 95, cardigans and Henley shirts become wardrobe staples. 96, you feel guilty when you hang a nice shirt on a cheap wire hanger. 97, you acquire wooden hangers and shoe trees. 98, you get noticed. People remember you as the guy who is always dressed up. 99, you become happier. Number 100, you keep pushing yourself because it's a journey, not a destination. So, so here's the thing. Are some of these points total BS? I would totally agree. They are absolute BS. But do some of them make sense? Again, I would agree. Absolutely. Some of those points make absolute sense. See, the one thing that I want you to take away from this podcast episode is to start giving a damn about how you are dressed. And realize the fact that it actually matters. I'll catch you in the next episode.